Hey everybody, it is day 28 in our daily challenges. Thank you so much for joining us each and every day. If you are, um, if this is maybe your first or second time joining us, welcome. Uh, you can be checking out our past daily challenges on our YouTube channel, um, or you can check it out on our Facebook page uh, for Rolling Hills Community Church. But again, we just wanna thank you for joining us each and every day. We've had a great time doing these and, and continuing to do these each and every day. So God bless you guys as you take on these challenges. Hopefully they're doing good things uh, for your spirit Spiritual walk uh, for your marriage or whatever it may be that you are working on I'm praying that God is blessing you um, we are so looking forward to this uh, quarantine uh, this time alone being over right uh, can't wait to get back with our church family uh, miss the hugs miss the handshakes uh, just miss miss worshiping with y'all and and uh, celebrating the Lord's presence with y'all it's just uh, it's been it's been tough. I mean, even as even as pastors um, we're, we're still human beings and we still um, we miss you we love you, and we just can't wait to get back together and laugh and, and have good times and um, and celebrate again together. So, uh, but anyways, glad we have this opportunity to do this each and every day. But I just want to ask, you know, oh, before I ask, but most of us know that when life's going easy, when things are going easy, it's kind of easier to have a stronger faith, right? When, when the challenges are few, you know, when the kids are doing great, uh, when the money's there, right? When time is there, when we're not running late, when everything is just going smooth, it's a little bit easier to be a little more at peace, right, in our lives. You know, I usually found that, you know, I experienced though, a lot more growth in my life uh, when the challenges come. And a lot of us can probably say the same thing. It's a lot easier to, to feel growth in our lives when uh, we're actually challenged in some specific way. Uh, you know, this weekend, I'm actually starting a nine-week series on the book of James. I'm super excited, and it was just perfect that I, I got this, this verse just popped in my head today when I thought about challenges. Uh, just kicking off, kicking off right in the first part of James, uh, ch chapter 1, verses 2 to 4, you know, God ha actually tells us, and we're told that we are to consider it joy, actually, when we go through times of testing and dif difficulty. Now, that's a hard concept for us to grasp as human beings, to be joyful in all the hard times. And because why? It's, it's, it's hard, right? It's, it's difficult. Uh, we don't know what the next day is going to bring, especially in the middle of a quarantine, right? How do we find joy? How do we act? Um, joyful how do we be joyful in these times you know and, it, and those are the hard things for us to to kind of come to grips with sometimes so, so keep this in mind and i've heard this saying before and i've always loved it but god is more concerned about your growth than he is your comfort and i'll say that again god is more concerned about your growth than he is your comfort see when we're comfortable and i've done you know sermon series on this before about being comfortable comfort just doesn't bring us growth right it doesn't get us to step out and do things that we normally wouldn't do it just keeps us in the same place in the same time all the time and we don't grow from that that's why you know james says here that you know that we should consider it joy when we go through tough times because they're they're changing us it's doing it's building strength in us it's it's teaching us how to persevere it's teaching us how to get through every hard time that we are going to face and i'm not saying that we might face i'm saying that we are going to face we're going to have hard times in this life and again this is uh this is something I'm going to be preaching on this this weekend. I'm super excited to do it. So if you guys aren't uh, uh, worshiping anywhere this weekend or worshiping online anywhere, please join us uh, at Rolling Hills Community Church. We love to. I love to just share so much of what God's doing uh, in this sermon series that I'm putting together in James. Uh, but this first concept is is just what jumps out. You know, when when bad things happen to people, it just that's the way it is. So keep that in mind again. But that God is God is more concerned about uh, your growth than He is your comfort. I love that saying. So the next time we face the difficult situations, especially like we are right now, and again, this is not going to be the last difficult situation that we face in our lives. But you know, when, anytime that we we face pressure or that uh, discomfort comes to our life, and we, whatever that may be, see, we have to understand one: God is always there with us. He's always there, walking beside us and walking through us. But my challenge in all this is for you to look at the situation you're in and ask yourself this: How am I growing? That's the question. I want you to look in the mirror or I just want you to write it down. I want you to do something, but I want you to ask yourself that. How am I growing in all this? What part of my life uh, was I weak in and now I feel a little bit stronger in because of the situation I'm in? Ask yourself that. That is my challenge today. I want you to find out where it is you're growing, how it is you're growing, and what areas in your life where you were weak that you now feel stronger. Just check it out. Maybe comment below, let, let me know how you guys are doing, how you're, you feel that you are growing. I'd love to know, I'd love to find out. You can comment below or you can text me, whatever you wanna do, but 
Ask yourself that question. How am I growing in this time that I'm in right now where God has planted me? We're not, we're not buried, church. Uh, we're not six feet under. We are planted right now, and we are growing. And the, the object in this, whole, in this whole process, I believe, right now is to find out how we are growing and what areas of our lives are we growing in. So there's my challenge today. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful day. Can't wait to see you all um, as soon as possible. Uh, we love you so much, and uh, thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful day.